for the sign of Leo. Hello and welcome to my channel. Let's see what's going on for the recent past. Six of Cups and the Knight of Wands. Now the Six of Cups, it's a card about nostalgia, looking back on how things used to be. It can be, but not always connected with children or childhood. So it would have been important for you not to spend too much time and effort thinking about the good old days. Because we all have happy memories to reflect on from time to time. But if we start to think that the best of all the years have gone by, then that could become a self-fulfilling prophecy. Now the Six of Cups is with the Knight of Wands. Now the Knight of Wands is a very interesting type of energy. Looks like you couldn't know someone or you knew someone in the recent past that was fearless, brave. This person could have been an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, really confident type. Um, they had an uh, in and out type of energy. This card, Knight of Wands, is known as a player. <laughs> really, really charming. Now, the Knight of Wands, it also shows a great time for travel. If you can manage to get away, you should be feeling charged up, full of energy, and ready to get things done. Your confidence is increasing, and this will help reach towards any goals. Now, the Knights, they're about messages, so there was someone that um, was very excited to come towards you. Uh, someone um, was reaching out to you. Someone was coming in. Someone had something to say in the recent past, and it was this Knight of Wands. Someone very fearless and brave. A lot of energy. This person was ready to take action towards you. Now, because it's with the Six of Cups, these two cards paired together for the recent past. Um, it's someone that you had a lot of happy memories with. Yeah, there was a lot of um, mementos. Because the Six of Cups, it's either about someone from the past coming into um possibly yeah reappearance of someone from the past or just familiarity happy memories so this person that was um anxious to reach out to you you had a lot of great memories with this person could have been someone that you went to school with a long time ago or just someone, maybe someone who you felt, just felt really comfortable with, like you knew, like you two knew each other from a past life before. So, if everything felt great, felt right, and this person, he's, he's charging in, take a look at him. He was excited to be with you, or she, and a um, lot of great memories there. Um, but... This um, Nine of Wands, like I said, it's a player type of energy. So this person probably didn't stick around, but there was a lot of uh, great chemistry and familiarity. Just you guys, when you did get together, it was nothing but happy memories. But this person just, I don't know what it was. They, they, they couldn't stick around. They were in and then they were out. Could have been a player. Now, let's get off the recent past because I know you don't want to hear about that. Who wants to hear about the past? Let's get on to the future. <laughs> so, let's talk about what's coming up for you for the end of August, the present, which, which is what I call the present time. We got the Star card and the Three of Cups. Now, the Star card is about finding yourself feeling rather inspired. More hopeful about the future than you have in a long time. So you'll be feeling more confident that your needs, they're being met, whether it's emotional or financial needs, or it could be both. Just know that nothing can be taken for granted, but it's going to be unlikely that your confidence is misplaced. And this could also be a very spiritual card. It could mean that you'll find yourself feeling at one with all of creation. And it's not a common feeling. So you want to make sure to savor it. Lock it in. It's not a con it, it is not a common feeling. 
Now the star card is with the th is with the yeah three of cups. Now that's interesting also because the three of cups can be about someone from the past. So is this is this person from the past returning? Could be. Now the three of cups is considered a card about reunions, but this is not always a romantic reunion. It could be. Um, about running back into someone or something who's been away or that's been away from you for a long time. So it's a really, really happy reunion because you see the way these three people are jumping up in the air and they're toasting their champagne or their wine and they're about to land into a lake. They don't care. They're just so happy to come together. So very happy reunion, very upbeat. It can also mean celebrating some type of celebration, your own or someone that you care about. Maybe celebrating a new baby wedding or some type of really happy occasion. Really happy occasion. Now, like I said, this Three of Cups, it can also mean a reunion with a long lost love. Now, yeah. It could be that um, someone from the past is returning. And it's a, it's a happy return. Now, just a little side note for any single Leos that are out there listening. Because you got this Three of Cups, cups in the reading, I just want to let you know what it means for singles. The most likely interpretation of this card is that you will meet a likely a likely love soon. Someone who really fits the bill of the person that you've been looking for. So that's a good thing. If you're looking for it, if you're looking for love, it's coming in, if, especially if you're single. So Leo, with these two cards paired together, we got the star card and three of cups. Wow. So... I'm picking up that this same person from the recent past that we just talked about that you had that you had a lot of happy memories with and they were always excited to reach out to you. This person looks like they could be coming back. Or do you know two people from the past that could be coming back? I'm picking up that could be the case, but for most of you, it's the same person that we just talked about from the recent past that you had a lot of happy memories with. Looks like they're making a comeback in August. It could go into September. And, um, yeah, you two will feel hopeful, more hopeful about the future. Because the star card is about being hopeful, having a lot of faith are rejuvenated so this person it this person that comes back they spark your energy again they rejuvenate you again uh any grief or problems that you had in the past with this person it's released when you get the star card so you're happy to see this person again and they're happy to see you again yeah you might have some inner clarity um and a lot of faith so something's going on here with with some of you leos because <laughs> like i said you got you got someone returning i don't know maybe i want to say it could be a new love because i like i know that a lot of you like to a lot of you tell me please don't talk about anyone from the past so i want to say it's a new love but the three of cups is not about new no, it's about running back into someone that's been away for a long time. So you got some celebrating here with someone that you used to know. And it makes you feel wonderful, like this, like a star. <laughs> Just fabulous. And for a lot of you, Leos, it's this person from the past that we just talked about who's who was um in and out. But every time you saw this person, it was... It was over the charts. Just too many happy memories. So I don't think that's going to resonate with a lot of you. Because a lot of us think, well, not all. I was going to say a lot of us let go of the past, but a lot of us hold on to it too. 
So let's find out what the challenge is going to be. Now we got this chariot card and we got the king of swords. Now the chariot, it's it's got a lot of energy. You see how fast it's going? Really fast, like maybe 100 miles an hour or more. It's not a free-for-all energy. It's directed, it's controlled, and it has a goal in mind. So when this card appears, you're more than likely fairly clear on what your hopes and dreams involve and what you're willing to do to make them come true. It's about determination, ambition, ambition, and getting things done, testing and proving that you got what it takes. So it's a sign that you should move forward with whatever you have in your mind with it, with whatever you have in your mind and in your heart and give it your best shot. So just know you're gonna have to use both your intellect and your heart to truly be successful. So this chariot is paired with the King of Swords. Now it stands for a powerful, opinionated, forceful man. He will often, but not always have hair on the darker end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. It could go either way. You may be tempted to think only about how things affect you personally, particularly when this card does not represent a man in your life. So you might have to consider the feelings of others before you act. Because the King of Swords, it points to a very, very forceful type of energy. Not being able to get this man in your life to change his mind or to do what you want. So you might have to change something about yourself. You just might if you plan on dealing with this person. But don't overextend your reach. Yeah, this person may be really opinionated. You can feel like this person is overstepping his bounds. This type is stereotypically manly. And this King of Swords, truth be told, they will mistreat you. Yes, they will mistreat you now. That's your challenge, the King of Swords and the Chariot. So it looks like whoever you're dealing with, maybe this person that comes back that's been away for a long time, that's making you feel rejuvenated and really like a star, it looks like, wow, things go really fast or your person is going to want to... Well, you could be tempted to go too far too fast with this person or your person could be pressuring you that way to go really fast with something. So it looks like you hmm, it looks like you might use a, a very you might be very forceful with this person and um, let them know that you just don't want to go that fast. Yeah, because a chariot, like I said, it it's directed, it's controlled, and so your person has a goal in mind. They're planning something, but they want it to go really, really fast. They want it to happen like overnight, maybe. But it looks like you might pull out the sword and put a stop to it. You could be the Teladi Leos, could be the type that you don't like to be rushed and you don't want things to just take off like the speed of lightning. And that's what someone's trying to do. So you pull out the sword and you put a stop to it. Now, that's what we got for the challenge. So let's see what the outcome is. We got the Hierophant and we got this Five of Cups. Now, the Hierophant kid can be about searching for the meaning of life. You're considered to be a great loyal friend. So when this type of person is called on for help or advice with some important matters or issues, their intelligence and empathy puts them in a position to provide a whole lot of support. So this could be you or someone coming toward towards you or someone that you know. This person is quick-witted, well-educated, a wise teacher marked by integrity. Quite frankly, the higher offense they are the genuine article or true blue. They're highly admired individuals who walk the walk, they talk the talk, and they stand firm in their beliefs and convictions. So that tells you about a little bit about the Hierophant. Um, 
Now, it's paired with the Five of Cups, which is about disappointment. So, you or your person could be crying over spilt milk. Some, something happened. Or something will be happening that will cause some disappointment. Well, I don't like this card for this reading because things are going so good for the recent past and in the present time. And now we got this Five of Cups, a love relationship it, that you're in. It could, it may have just ended or it may be in the process of ending. Yeah, so that's what the Five of Cups is about. But it's basically about a choice. You're going to have to, it looks like you're going to have to make a choice. Are you going to cry or cry over what happened and just stay stuck on disappointment? Or are you going to focus on those two cups that you still have in your hand? They're healthy and they're full of whatever was in them. So it's a choice you have to make with this person that you're dealing with. It looks like because the Hierophant is showing up there, you might be disappointed that this person is is not more you might be disappointed that this person was not more honest not more sincere not more like the hierophant you probably want was hoping this person would be more like the hierophant and you're disappointed that they are not and I say that they are not like the Hierophant because there's a disappointment here. So something happened, whereas you just wanted the connection to be more true and more genuine. And so you might be in the process of walking away. You just might. Or you might still focus on what's good because there's a lot of good. You've got a lot of happy, familiar, familiar, great memories with this person. If it's the same person from the recent past. And you two like celebrating life together. This person rejuvenates you, make you feel like a star. But this person might like to take things really fast. Mm. And you feel out of control. So that could bother you. And you might feel like this person just needs to slow down and just keep it more real. So you're dis you're disappointed about something. That's what that's what we got coming up coming up for you, Leo. So I hope this resonates. I hope you enjoy the reading. Um just keep in mind that if this is not a love interest, it could some people, some of you ask, could it be a family member or a friend? Yes, it doesn't have to be a love interest because these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So you have to take it for however it resonates with you. Resonate with you. Resonate with you.